All right, taxpayers and free people. Uh, yesterday, I got arrested in Prince George's County by Tacoma Park, Maryland. The same police officer that stole my $50 and locked me up at Enterprise and conspired to try to orchestrate a disorderly act uh, Enterprise, as you saw in his body camera footage. Here we go again with this clown. And the sad part about the taxpayers, they made him a detective. He's a detective now. Um, this is what they do. They reward these clowns. There will be a $150 million lawsuit filed against this clown and Tacoma Park and Montgomery County for uh, violating my constitutional rights and um, kidnapping me from one county to the next. You know, um, he you, he tore my camera up, broke my camera, slammed me up against the car, and then he took the camera. Uh, we're going to see if he tampered with the evidence by deleting the footage. But what he failed to realize is this. There was a person who was recording the whole scene, uh, and she was on mic. You're going to hear, if it's still there, you're going to see me hear me talking to her she was there. Uh, we caught a police officer out there off Tacoma Park uh, with his girlfriend at the cruiser in Prince George's County. Um, again, everything happens for a reason. And this is clearly to show Tacoma Park, you're out of your jurisdiction. OK. On Highway 650, one side is Montgomery County, the other side is Prince George's County. It has been rezoned. Uh, and we're going to prove this in federal court in Greenbelt on a $150 million lawsuit. Okay. Uh, he kept saying that I'm on probation and all this bullshit. China, so he locked me up saying I was disorderly again. A fucked up ass charge that they try to use to, to have somebody arrested so they can violate something that's what he tried to do but you're going to see the body cam footage of these officers here and i'm telling you right now when these officers came up they didn't want no part of this shit they wanted no part of this shit i'm telling you these are all the officers of tacoma park that arrived on the scene um there was one more officer. Where's his name at? Here he is right here. I didn't get his card. But the officer that arrested me, this fake ass detective that arrested me at Enterprise who stole my money, um, took the, my cameras. He destroyed one of the cameras, threw it to the ground. It's all on recording, though. Uh, there's a mobile camera there uh, at this Walgreens. Again, he's sitting out in Walgreens. I saw him in his car, but when I engaged one of the Tacoma Park officers who was with the girl, he got out of his car to come and engage me. What he failed to realize and what he didn't understand is there was a third person there who was listening on the mic, everything that was going on, and they were recording it. You know, I'm three steps ahead of you whores. You know, so now... We have another big lawsuit finna be filed uh, with Montgomery County, uh, the commissioners, um, and we go to court in December again in in Civil Spring, but we're gonna file a motion for a jury trial, and let's see if they wanna play games with that again. We just beat this clown with his own body camera, and here he is again, butt hurt, locking me up again for disorderly conduct, for recording his dumb ass and calling him a bitch. That's what he is, a straight bitch. He's the one that's writing. Every time you see something saying, did you take my meds? That's him. Like, we don't know who he is, and we're going to use his own comments on my platform. The dog is a dumb ass in federal court. Stupid. But again, I was arrested last night. The commissioner let me go. He thought I was on probation, this dumbass police officer. Thought I was on probation and they were going to keep me. Uh, went back to the police station. Uh, the young man 
uh, told me that uh, they couldn't. Um, this guy right here, he's the dispatcher. He said they couldn't release it until Monday. We're going down there Monday. We're going to put a inf public information for the body cam footage of all these officers here. And I'm not saying these officers had nothing to do with it. this officer. Um, I think it's this one right here. Uh, one of these two here had the girl in the car. I don't know which one yet. I have to relook at the footage. But he's I guess he's got a girlfriend at Walgreen and he he was there with her in the in the car when I walked up on him. And you know, I, I was saw him when he went to McDonald's. You're gonna see all of it in video. I saw him when he went to McDonald's, got some food, and then he went over to Walgreen. And I engaged him. But this whore came up out of this unmarked car because I had already been over there and I spotted the unmarked car. He got out of the car. Start talking about, did you take your meds? You on uh, two years probation, all this bullshit. You know, you get what you get. And then it, the thing about it is this. He gets a drunk, a dude that's drinking alcohol on the property um, to be the complainant of a disorderly. How stupid can you be? You know, I recorded the dude when we walked by him and he gets him to be the complainant. In a disorderly, he's sitting there drinking, but you don't lock him up for drinking in public. Ain't that some shit? But taxpayers of Tacoma Park, $150 million is what we're going to sue your, you for because of the this dumbass police officer. I don't even call him a police officer. He's a piece of shit to me. But seriously. And that's like I'm going to ask, you're going to see it on the video. I asked the officer, do we have some charmin so he can wipe his ass and throw his ass in the garbage? He's a piece of shit. And he just got you all another lawsuit. So stand by, taxpayers. I guess he don't think, unlike him, I can afford phones or cameras to record. He took the body camera. He took uh, my phones. He took three phones. He took a scanner. And then he tore up the tripod. And then what else did he take? Then he says, all this is evidence. Evidence to what? You're out of your jurisdiction. There's no crime. And the people at the, the jail come to their senses to realize that once I told them and they looked at the address, you're in Prince George's County. You have no jurisdiction there. And we're going to prove it in a big lawsuit. You see, taxpayers, until you start getting rid of these clowns like this, you're going to be the victim. You're not holding them accountable. If if you take this fucked up ass immunity away from these clowns, I would go after him and bankrupt him. But due to the fact is you guys have this immunity where you're going to be responsible for their actions. This is what's going to happen. OK, stand by more to come. I'll get back with you guys Monday. Oh, went to the county jail. They took my money. And then got the nerve to give me a credit card. I don't want a credit card. I came in there with cash. I want my cash. I wasn't admitted to their facility. I want my cash back. I don't want a credit card. So they may be involved in this. I'm going to have to go back up there and see if they're willing to give me my cash, my currency back. If not, they're going to be involved in the lawsuit too. I told them they can keep the credit card. I want cash. I came in there with crash cash. I wasn't admitted to your facility. I was charged with a fictitious charge, kidnap, brought into Montgomery County to sit in your county jail. A hundred and fifty million dollars. Let's see who is. If we have some more corrupt judges up there in Greenbelt. But this is what's about to happen now. I'm going Monday to pick up my property that was stolen from me in Prince George's County. And then I've already talked to my attorneys. They're writing up this new hundred and fifty thousand. A uh, $50 million lawsuit against these clown and him for uh, arresting me outside of their jurisdiction. So we're going to prove that these officers have no jurisdiction at this address in Prince George's County. And for you clowns, Google the boundary lines on 650. One side's Montgomery County. The other side is Prince George's County. Even though it says Tacoma Park, they rezone this whole area, but they think people don't know their rights and don't know the law. They picked the wrong person to fuck with. So 
I'll be back out showing you all some more videos. We're going to catch them more. And we're going to find this clown and see if he's still on the force here. And wherever they transport him or send him, we're going to be on his ass. He is a dirty piece of shit. And now he don't got caught automatically. So I told one of the officers, this gentleman here who transported me. Where is he at? I don't have his name on here. I got a card somewhere with it. But uh, he transported me there. Um to make sure that, and the corporal, to make sure that this individual did not delete or remove my cars, memory cars, out of my uh, cameras because it's a felony. Tampering with evidence. Okay? I'm coming. I, I, I'm I, Taxpayers, nothing personal. This is business. Until you get hold of these clowns on your little fake-ass police department who are corrupt, You're going to be paying lawsuits. And the thing about it now is more and more people are coming out, backing me up, recording and not being seen. And that's what happened to this clown here. So stay tuned. More to come. Shit getting good.